A few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to present a paper before a distinguished group of people in a very prominent forum. It came at the same time that an, that an earlier paper I wrote was published in a noteworthy academic journal. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam! Nakataba ng puso! It felt really good to be given that privilege and recognition. And all I could say with the deepest sense of gratitude welling from my heart was, Thank you, Lord. We experience a lot of blessings in our lives. Uh, you might have found your dream job. Your business finally turns around and makes a profit after many years of loss. You got your biggest prospect to sign a big sales contract. Or you received a major promotion with a bigger, more important role at work. You've built your dream house. You've received an important award recognizing your life work. And your children have completed their studies. All these blessings fill our hearts with joy. And yes, we ought to thank the Lord for them. But very often, we feel like everything we've ever accomplished and everything we've gained were all the result of our own ability and hard work. We have to admit that most often than not, we don't fully recognize where all these blessings really come from. It is easy to take the Lord for granted. We need to fully confess that everything we have comes from God. There is nothing that we possess that did not come from Him. We owe to Him even our life itself. Therefore, it is just right that we give our highest praise and thanksgiving to Him. And we can take some lessons from a famous character in the Bible. King David of Israel, I believe, there is none like David in his lavish and extravagant thanksgiving to God. On the day that King David offered so much of his riches as provision for the building of God's temple, this is what he declared before the assembly of God's people. Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor comes from you, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Such generous praise and thanksgiving. And God deserved all that. So, just like King David, thank the Lord for every blessing you receive in life. Be extravagant in your thanksgiving. Be lavish in your praise. Allow the deepest feelings of gratitude to well up from your heart as you say, Thank you, Lord. Remember that as we thank the Lord for everything in our lives, faith matters too.